Yo, what's up guys, welcome back, TCG Meta Game Breakdown for February um, 12th, 2018, new TCG format, like the second week of our new TCG, well pretty much like the first full weekend of our new TCG, February 5th format, 2018, so I, this will be definitely be like a two-parter, I have like so many lists ready, but first of all, huge, huge shout outs to all these um, people and, you know, like uh, social media ready for dual car launch story Italian Yu-Gi-Oh Yuri Lanzmann of course for like giving like for us a local Facebook group all the lists from multiple tournaments here in our country but also um, like the Netherlands as well um, regionals team OCC team Nova as well live profiles will be uploaded on their YouTube profile everything will be in the video description uh, first of all, um, a couple of uh, tournaments. Let's take a look at the first tournament here. Um, it's like, again, a world championship qualifier in Colombia. The first place uh, player um, eventually won by Paleozoix. Again, it's a deck Paleos that pretty much fell out of the yeah, of the radar, right? A couple of months ago, but in the new format. And that's something I haven't mentioned yet is I don't have a pie chart because um, I think... <laughs> from seeing all these lists there isn't really like like a best deck that stands on top of the other decks or is like like above of the other decks our format is so so diverse and that's something i definitely like makes it much more interesting so back to Pelios. Pelios first place here at, at this particular regionals I'm not sure about how many people uh, attended in this particular regionals but again paleozoix with card of demise other paleo lists are ready but um, this particular list decided to use card of demise anti-spell main deck um definitely a good um well a good option right due to the huge amount of pendulum decks mainly pendulum magician and their couple of variants. Um, second place uh, was Tricksters, also a deck that was, wasn't really hindered by the ban list, right? Um, pretty much full intact and definitely expected that this deck will not, well, definitely one of the best decks, right? I don't need to explain that. 42 cards in the main deck, the Eater of Millions as well, Triple Scapegoat also, the one of evenly matched, quite a nifty deck here in the main deck. The Cherries and the Dimensional Barrier also in the side deck. Second place, Tricksters. Then third place is a deck that um, I have seen popping up from past weekend as well in other tournaments and that's 60 cards. A 60 card deck in this case like Zombie, uh, Plans, Lightsworns, um, Destrudel, it's all, all over the place, right? Thanks to the new Lightsworn, definitely got a boost. But 60 cards, well, what can I say, right? Triple evenly matched also. The Predaplant engine in favor of, you know, if you're open the at least if you're able to open the Predaplant engine, you can go for the Light Sworn Curious. He's also main making the damaged juggler, of course. Um, double solar recharge, quite an interesting card again, due to the fact that the deck doesn't really run too many light swords. Um double gold sark, definitely quite of a good card here in the 60 card build you know getting more monsters on the field if you're running the, the what is it called shine Drex? You, you know that that monster that special summon itself when banished fourth place if i'm not mistaken again trick stars the blazing mirror force here in the main deck 40 cards compared to the other build only running double scapegoat but then yeah a lot of similarities right although he does um main deck the wind witch engine so again quite interesting a lot of hate in the side deck as usual right um it's, it's not bad like um side decking the anti-spell fragrance um, another tournament here, I'm not really sure which particular tournament, uh, it's like a big regionals of about uh, 213 people. First place was um, Pendulum Magicians, well with the mythical beast status, again quite of a strong engine going into our new TCG format, splashing in those like you know uh, mythical beasts and getting like an extra monster on the field to go for Electromite, right? So again 40 cards and running the full engine of of the chronograph uh, cards um, astrograph sorcerer indeed uh, as a target for the level 5 and of course to abuse it with the electromite as well um, this extra deck is not really too um, 
well, what can I say, right? Pretty standard. The scoldings also in the side deck as well. So Pendulum Magician is definitely one of the stronger decks here in the upcoming TCG format. Second place at this particular tournament, uh, over 200 people. Tricksters, also Spirals. Um, I have the Spiral with, uh, list already, I'm not sure. I think it's going to be in the second video, but Spiral, Tricksters, well, Tricksters pretty much, right? A lot of hand traps again with a small, a super small Spiral engine. Again, quite interesting. Uh, then we have Dinosaurs. Yeah, Dinosaurs is also a deck that has been getting a lot of tops seeing from the lists past weekend. And this particular version, this particular build up the two run Shadows as well. Quite interesting due to the no uh, overtax uh, quote loss. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean, right? The Negator, uh, the, the, uh, what's it called? Giant Rex as well. Quite of a good card. Uh, promoting the rank 4 exceeds, for example. Um, the Shadows. Yeah, interesting engine we saw from the OCG and it's, you know, going through here in the TCG as well. Uh, fifth place and then we have sixth place also again same tournament over 200 people we have again pendulum magicians also running the mythical beast quite interesting that you know same for the ocg pendulum magicians is uh, valuable viable to run in a couple of you know a couple of um, possibilities and here again using the mythical beasts in the main deck this particular player ups to run triple wavering eyes in the main deck quite interesting might be quote unquote staple if the format is developing and you know the the format is lying more towards pendulum heavy uh decks right slash mirror matches but mm, i i doubt uh but, well it's it's unpredictable right but it seems that again from all these lists super super diverse um other tournaments well like here uh first of all we have again tricksters indeed first place Again, a lot of hand traps, so people not dropping their hand traps from the main deck. A double effect failure again, because of spirals dropped. Uh, well, you know the field spell prevent targeting, so effect, um, effect failure is definitely uh, more usable. And then a couple of random lists as well. We have again dinosaurs. Dinosaurs going top 16. Again, using the new Overtex uh, Quotals, I believe, Shadals as well. The Shadal engine is much bigger compared to the list we saw earlier. Also running the Solemn Brigade here in the main deck, as you're seeing here. But again, a strong engine, super strong engine. Allure of Darkness, the Shadal engine using Shadal Fusion to gain maximum value if your opponent has like an extra dex, um, yeah, special summoned monster, right? OV Raptor, not something to underestimate, especially with the double evolution pill. Um, yeah, Magicians as well, again, 4th place, Panel Magicians, no surprise, right, uh, another Magicians uh, build, again, a lot of similarities, but this particular build does not uh, main the Wavering Eyes, of course, side-decking it, good choice, I think, especially early format, right. Uh, but again, if the, form, if the format is developing towards more Pendulum decks, Wavering Eyes can definitely be main deck. Another random list is Paleozoic's third place. This particular list is running the Spellbook Engine, no card of demise, but again, a lot of traps, anti-spell fragments in the main deck. Again, an understandable choice, because, you know, you can definitely expect more Pendulums, um, especially early format here um, in these new uh, TCG tournaments so all the new tcg format and tournaments last big tournament we first of all have tricksters as i mentioned before first place at uh, let me double check like again a world championship qualifier not really sure about the place and uh, 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 let me double check but no i have no clue how many players were attending this particular regionals but again first place was tricksters a lot of hand traps again um, something we saw right and here that's interesting we see uh, true dracos again popping up a couple of uh, different choices uh, we see like the oh, i forgot its name the inspector um, border you know which card i mean that negates monster effects quite of an interesting card and uh, true draco is definitely a deck that again can be that again can be up there you know one of the top tier decks going into the new tcg format true draco demise signing in the winged dragon the yeah, ras sphere mode evenly matched as well but a lot of back rows anti-spell fragrance definitely a good choice and you know 
triple card of the mice you can't go wrong with that card so true dracos keep an eye out for that particular deck guys definitely still a strong deck going into our new tcg format top four paleozoics only running double desires standard frog engine like 30 traps must be nice right paleozoics again um definitely a, a high contender in the new tcg format the dinosaurs also i believe eight place if i'm not mistaken main deck in the kaijus as well infinite tyranno um more back rows also quite interesting uh maybe yeah, pretty much like a pure dinosaur build then we have a true draco spell books again true draco's masterpiece dot deck but in this case the player is running the small spell book engine also evenly matched in the main deck quite interesting and then also something that um, I haven't personally seen uh, pop up here in our, um, well, in, in, in Belgium here, our country, and also not in the Netherlands, but in, um, like, in this particular regionals, we see True Drake on Metal Foes. Metal Foes, again, is also a deck that you can't underestimate, and into the new TCG format, definitely can gain ground, so keep this deck in mind, guys. True Draco, well, Masterpiece, True uh, Draco and Metal Foes. And last, um, again another Metal Foe build, but he's also running the, the, the Chronograph engine. Quite of an interesting build with Metal Foes as well. So again, a very interesting choice. Um, okay, this was part one. Definitely stay tuned for part two. That will be uploaded very, very soon. I'll leave like the links in the video description. So again, um, my apologies. Thanks to everyone for, you know, the lists, etc. All the sources will be in the video description. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks so much and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them sunny out. Peace.